Since I've started living on this bridge, I've really come to appreciate the region south of Louisville. This base has been the perfect launching point for expeditions into the area. This ease of access has certainly contributed to my growing fondness for the area. Today we will continue our exploration by hitting up some storage units. But first, I've decided to expand the bridge base a bit. Since we are going to be here for more than just fishing, I think we need to add a storage room. We'll probably plant some crops, and hopefully we can find the generator. In preparation for that blizzard we had in the previous episode, I had cut down a bunch of trees. So we have all the lumber we need to get this expansion started. I believe the plan will be to extend this bridge across the bridge, and we'll build another sort of tower type of thing on the other side of the bridge. Bad news, all of our cabbages have gone stale, and I'm not sure if I can eat them because I have a weak stomach. But this of course illustrates exactly why we need to find a generator so we could power a refrigerator. The next morning we're back to fishing yet again. Well I spent basically the entire freaking day fishing and we caught zero, zilch, nada, nothing. I don't get what the issue is, I guess uh, that the debuff for fishing in winter is uh, pretty big. Well, we caught no fish and we're very sad. So to make ourselves happy, we will eat some fruit jam. Before bed, I make an impromptu trip to West Point because we have a ton of food stored there in a powered refrigerator. We arrive here at Twiggy's. I wonder how our crops are doing. Are we going to do some late night crop harvesting? Yeah, we got some harvest ready carrots here. That gives us 28 carrots. I think that'll be good for a while. The next morning, I plant some carrot seeds. And then it's back to construction. And here we are. It's mostly complete, and it's just floating in space above the river here. I mean, like I said, I am pretty damn good at carpentry. How's it looking so far? I think this is working pretty well, actually. I decide to take a break from construction and head towards those storage units I wanted to check out. Our first stop is the hunting lodge again. We're gonna check out that shed, see if we can find some more ammo. There we go, we got some magnum rounds. We could use a fishing volume three. And you know what, we're gonna take these shelves with us because we're gonna add them to our base for storage. Oh great. And that's what we've grabbed so far. It's getting pretty late in the day, so maybe we can do some scouting around then we'll head back to base. I'm so glad we found all those machetes last time. You know what, I think I'll take this razor. Maybe- Oh my god! Shit! Like I was saying, uh, maybe we could grab a razor and shave our beard. I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Should I shave my beard or not? So what do we got here? Guns ablazing, ha <laughs> ha! On the way back home, we clear the road of some stragglers. Oh, there's a, a bar down there. Straight shooters. Okay, we could get some alcohol there. Beer! Bourbon. Oh, there's the good stuff. Yeah, we got some peanuts. 
Well, anyway, these houses might be a good source of some more food. But we're gonna skip them for now. We're just gonna go straight for the storage units. Okay, I guess I'm... Oh my god! Sorry to interrupt. Continue. Don't mind me. If memory serves me correctly, those storage units should be right down here. But I am feeling a bit lost, so I don't know. An elementary school. Yeah, I don't think we should be all the way out here. At least not right now. Alright, let's see what kind of damage we took on the truck. Damn, hood is down to 0%. We really screwed things up there. Well, let's take a look at the map and try and figure things out. Okay, I think those are the storage units. So we were pretty close, actually. Things just went wrong when we drove all the way up there. Yeah, okay. Today was mostly a bust, apart from the alcohol that we found. The next morning, we head back to West Point to try and find some spare parts to repair our truck. I am very grateful that this game isn't realistic enough to model the shards of broken windshield glass getting flung into my face and eyes. We've pretty much neglected our garage since we built it, but now we get to make use of it. Voila! Just like new, it even comes with the exact same bloodstains. I spend the night in West Point. Tomorrow, we'll go to the Gigamart parking lot and see if we can scavenge some more parts. Our goal here is to get a new windshield and also some new tires. Okay, I feel safe to get to work. Let's grab the windshield from this here van. Damn, we did it. I'm also able to uninstall the doors. That only requires four mechanic skill, which I have, so we can easily do that. Look at that. New doors, new windows. Absolutely beautiful. I think that's good enough for now. We got a new hood, new windshield, and some new tires. What the hell is this? They broke into my base. We're not going out that door, we're gonna take the long way around. No need to get careless now. I return my tools. I have a quick lunch of cabbage and I wash myself up. Today was a good day. Alright, I have a very positive feeling about this. We're gonna do some fighting, we're gonna do some looting. It's gonna be a great day. Air activity detected. Well, damn, that really sucks the wind out of my sails. I guess I'm just gonna hang around here. I don't want to go back to base quite yet. Ah, some more interesting VHS tapes. I will bring those back with me. Alright, we're just gonna lay low in here until the helicopter comes. Hopefully it comes soon, like maybe by 10 or 11. And then we can get back to our looting in the afternoon. I passed the time by dismantling furniture to get some nails. And the helicopter does finally show up at around 7pm. I think we'll just spend the night here. Then tomorrow morning we can get right back into the looting immediately. We need to be very, very quiet. No sneezing, no farting. Oh god. I mean, the helicopter definitely didn't spot me. If it did, there'd be way more zombies here, I think. But it is awfully suspicious that this house is being attacked by zombies right now. I think we need to go. I think we've been in worse situations before, though. We run around the bar to give the zombies the slip. There's the truck. Yeah, we're not gonna go back to the bridge base. We'll turn this way and go to the fort area. And just hang around by the movie theater and parking lot. That'll give us plenty of room to maneuver. Then when the helicopter leaves, we'll just head home. Alright, is the helicopter gone now? Let's just chill here for a minute.
Well, we're back home and safe again. I feel like it seems like the helicopter spotted me even though I was indoors. Or maybe that was just the natural zombies being shuffled around because of the helicopter? I don't know. In either case, it wasn't safe to stay there, and we are lucky to have survived. 6am and we're back at it. Hopefully today will be a full and productive day. Oh my god, it's a zombie! Hey, look, a katana! Perfect, that's exactly what we need. I fight until my katana is destroyed. And then I fight until my machete is destroyed. I return home and decide to start a collection of broken katanas. Then I repair my machetes, get some sleep, and head back out there. The next morning, I make it to the storage units. It turns out it was right across from the elementary school. You know, with these uh, fences here, this might make a good base location, actually. Just make a nice defensive structure to block off the entrance, and you're probably golden. Securing the units turns out to be a bog-standard zombie clearing job. Nothing interesting really happens. Alright, I'm just gonna start looting all these and uh, let you know what I find. A mining helmet? You know what, I wasn't looking for fertilizer, but actually I think we could use some. We find a brand new machete. Generator 1, Generator 2, and Generator 3. Well, we got a bunch of good stuff. Special call out to all the fertilizer, the machete, and one roll of duct tape. The next morning, we put a couple of squirts of wood glue on our wood axe to repair it. Bam, we got our first set of shelves. Now, we don't really have anything to store in here right now, but I'm sure we'll find plenty of stuff as we continue our adventures. That night, I celebrate by cooking up a bowl of beans for dinner. The next morning, we head out to do some refrigerator shopping. I head to the crossroads because it's very safe here so we can get some gas in peace and also grab a popsicle freezer from the gas to go. Oh, you know what? Before we head home, we should grab a clothing rack for our storage room. Yeah, one of these will be just fine. On the way back, we stop off at Twiggy's real quick for the winter harvest. We end up with a grand total of 71 potatoes and 171 potato seeds. Listen to that hum of refrigeration. These potatoes will last us quite a while. Well then, I'm going to spend some time reorganizing this living space to try and make the most out of the space that I have. While I do that, why don't you subscribe to the channel and check out some more videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time for more Project Zomboid Adventures.